the final unit of this term 1 and today we are going to learn more about subtraction. Okay, so in subtraction we it is otherwise called as finding the difference. So that is called as finding the difference. So let us take two numbers. Okay. So this one, the first number is called minuend, and this is called subtrahend. And the answer that we get. Okay, is called the difference. Now did you understand finding the difference? Yes. So the first number that is on the top will be the minuend and second one is the subtrahend and when we minus both you get the answer and that is called the difference. Okay. So let us look at the next sum in page number 86, 782. 782 minus 349. We start the system of borrowing. Okay. In additions which was carry forward, carry forward to the other side. Okay. Now it is borrowing, taking. Okay. So we are going to take 1 and this is going to be considered as 12. 12 minus 9 is 3. Now, because we borrowed from 8, this becomes minus and so we will have it as 7. So, 7 minus 4 is 3 and then 7 minus 3 is 4. So, our answer would be 433. Did you see that? 2 is smaller than 9. So, we have to borrow. Okay, If you have to minus a subtract a small number from big number we always have to borrow. So, when we borrowed 1 from here this 2 became 12. So, we minus 12 we minus 9 from 12 we got the answer 3 and then the rest of the addition rest of the subtraction. We, we will also take a look at the subtraction in the page number 87 it is for you to practice. Alright, let us look at one more sum in page number 87 Roman letter 4. How does this work? The sum is 875 minus 243 and then minus 172. Okay, so we cannot do this. So, what we will do is put the 172 here and we will wait. 5 minus 3 is 2, 3, 6. 632 is the answer we got and now we do 632 minus 172. 2 minus 2 is 0, 3 is a smaller number than the 7. So, what do we do? We borrow, we take 1 from here so it becomes 13, 13 minus 7 is 6. So, this is because we took 1 from here, now this has become 5. So, 5 minus 1 is 4. So, we got the answer 460. Okay, so now go ahead and do the practice subtraction sums in page number 87. Moving to page number 88, we see subtraction of larger numbers. So, there is nothing for you to worry about. Again, it is only subtraction, it is the same subtraction and it is only that the numbers have become more. So, it does not change any rules. Okay? So, let us see an example 7835 minus 3240. So, let us see 5 minus 4 is 1, 3 minus 1 is 2, 8 minus 2 is 6, 7 minus 3 is 4, 4, 6, 2, 1 is our answer. Now, how about trying another one? 8235 minus 4562. So, 5 minus 2 is 3, 
So, here 3 is smaller than 6, so we have to borrow 13 minus 6 is 7. Here we have borrowed, so it is only 1. So, 1 is smaller than 5, so again we borrow from here, so this becomes 11, 11 minus 5 is 6. So, since we have already, already borrowed from here, here is 1 number less, so 7 minus 4 is 3. So, 3, 6, 7, 3 is our answer. Now, here if you look at the page number 88, first it says subtract the 1s, then the 10s, then the 100s and then the 1000s. That is the rule to follow in subtraction. Alright, so page number 90, example 8454 and 4243. So, 4 minus 3 is, this is without borrowing, 4 minus 3 is 1, 5 minus 4 is 1, 4 minus 2 is 2, 8 minus 4 is 4. So, 4211. Now, let us look at the Roman letter number 2, which is exercise 2 with borrowing. We will take one example, the rest you can try it out on your notebook and get the answers and write it in your textbook. 8764 and 3486. So, let us see this is with borrowing. So, again 4 is lesser than 6. So, we borrow 14 minus 6 is 8. So, because we borrowed this became less. So, let us see what it is. It is 5. We can't minus 5 because 5 is smaller. So, we make it, we borrow from here and 15 minus 8 is 7. So, since we borrowed from here, this becomes 6. 6 minus 4 is 2. 8 minus 3 is 5. So, 5278 is the answer. So, can you try answering the rest on page number 90 and 91? You can try the step 3 method for 3 sets of numerals to be subtracted. All right. Do as directed in page number 91, 3421 minus 1750. So, let us try doing that 3421 minus 1750. 1, 12. So, we borrow from here 12 minus 5 is 7. So, here because we borrowed it is only 3. So, we 7 is a big number, so we borrow from here. So, 13 minus 7 is 6. So, here it is because we borrowed it's become 2. So, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, 1671 would be the answer. So, that is how you do the rest of it. Like we have discussed in the previous chapters, practice makes us perfect. So, in math it is very important you practice. So, keep doing sums over and over again and then you will get the mastery of subtraction, addition, all about math. So, moving on to page number 92, properties of subtraction. Now, this is a page in red, so it means it is important. Let us see the properties. Once you understand this, then you will not make mistakes. Property 1, 1 subtracted from any number gives the previous number. The previous number is called as a predecessor, right? Property 2, when 0 is subtracted from any number, the difference is the number itself. Very similar to the addition. The properties are very similar, but there are some that are very different. So, make a note of it. Listen carefully. The order, property 3 says, the order in subtraction is very important. It is bold. That means, it is very important. It cannot be changed. But in addition, remember, the order of addition can be changed anyway. No problem. You get the same answer. But in subtraction, order of subtraction cannot be changed. For example, 738 minus 523, which is given here, you know, you cannot do 523 minus 738 you will not get it, that is wrong, right? So, you and you will get a negative answer. So, always remember there is only one way of doing 
the subtraction that's always the bigger number should be on top that should be the minuend and the smaller should number should be the subtrahend never forget that okay always the bigger number should be the minuend and smaller number should be the subtrahend property 4 if a number is subtracted from itself the difference is 0 see this is these last two points are very different from the additions when you add two numbers you get a bigger number but, but when you minus two numbers you get all zeros depending on the number of digits all will be 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay depending on the digits that are used now let's take a look at page number 93 fill in the blanks 7 78 sorry 783 minus 0 we just learned the property anything minus is the same number okay then the next one is 76 minus dash is equal to 75 we learned the property anything minus 1 you will get the previous number or the predecessor so the answer would be 1 so in a similar manner try the rest of the sums 80 minus 80 again we learn the property is anything minus anything the same number is 0 all right page number 93 again has sums for you to practice look at the place house values the numbers you can practice them in your notebook moving forward to word problems there are a few word problems that are already done for us let's take a look at it it will appear on your screen there are 585 boys and 238 girls in a school how many boys how many more boys are there than the girls so when you minus the minuend and subtrahend you will get the difference so 585 minus 238 you will get the differences 347 boys more than girls remember in subtraction there is only one way of doing it you cannot do 238 minus 585 you cannot do that is the 238 cannot be the minuend okay always the bigger number 500 is more than 200 so 500 will be the minuend and 200 will be the subtrahend any any number that is smaller will be the subtrahend all right so go ahead and see the roman letter number 2 3 4 and 5 you will see the word problems and you can easily do these sums first look at the sum and learn and then do it without looking at it in your notebook that's a good practice for you so we have come to page number 96 in that we find read think and solve activities the first one is there were 726 cherries in a box 35 cherries were spoiled how many cherries were good to eat let's take a look 726 were the total cherries in a box but how many got spoiled 35 so how many are the remaining that are good so 6 minus 5 is 1 so 2 is smaller than 3 so we have to borrow 1 so this becomes 12 12 minus 3 is 9 so we've already taken 1 from here so 7 becomes 6 we've already borrowed so it is 1 minus so 6 691 would be the correct answer let's look at another one find the difference between 3584 and 8000 look at the second sum all right we start with borrowing because one is smaller so this becomes 11 7 is the answer here and here we've already borrowed so this has become 1 so we'll again borrow this is 3 then we'll again we again borrowed so this is 2 so 2 is smaller than 5 so we again borrow 12 7 here we borrowed so it's become 7 7 minus 3 is 4 so 8000 
321 minus 3584. Look at the next exercises. There were 2560 workers in the factory due to strike 1278 people did not attend work. So, how many people actually attended work? So, take out your notebooks and try these subtraction sums because it will help you to understand it borrowing better. So, that brings us to the end of unit 5 of this term 1 math. I hope you learned a lot of things and you will remember. In math, the more you practice, the more you will remember. So, always find sums or ask your parents or ask your grandparents some sums and just note it down in your notebook and start practicing it. And practice makes you perfect. Music